G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. Now today, I'm having a look at how to set up your Moto X4 from scratch, and that's including Moto Voice, Moto Actions, all that stuff. So let's go check it out. So we've got to go on our home screen, swipe up, go to your Moto app right here, and here you see you've got Moto Key, access websites, apps and devices with your fingerprint, and you can log in and access other devices by using your thumb or your fingerprint. So a quick screenshot on, I'll just show you that if I swipe down with three fingers it takes a screenshot. So nice and cool, really simple. Uh, one button nav bar, so if I turn that on, I'll try it out, and let's go swipe that way for back, or press home, swipe that way to go back, so left to go back, and right for recent apps. And then the lock screen, touch and hold the center until you feel a short buzz, then lift your finger, visit the settings to manage the screen lock. Just like so. Launch assistant, hold your finger on it, and you're finished. So turn it on. So now if I swipe to the, the right, my recent apps comes up. Look how fast that is. If I swipe to my left, it goes back. So nice and simple. Pressing that's the home button. Holding your finger on it will bring up Google Assistant. That's me. How can I help? So cool. I'll tell you, Bixby, catch you later. I'm never using Bixby ever again. Well, look at that. These pictures should match. Good old um, Google Assistant trying to help me figure out Bixby. Uh, so we'll go back to where we were. One nav button, one button nav bar, chop twice for flashlight. So this is already on. So that's what that one is. Uh, quick twist for capture. So you pull your phone out of your pocket, give it a quick twist, and up pops the camera. One thing I've noticed: the um, camera app is a little bit um, laggy. Quick twist again, and it will turn it around to the uh, front-facing camera, and so on. All right, so we've also got swipe to shrink, which to me is a little bit buggy sometimes, but we'll have a look and see if it works. So it says, show me how to use it. Uh, put your finger there and swipe down to the corner, and there you go. Shrunken screen. Not that you need it with a 5.2-inch display, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go back. Back again, Moto Actions, where have you gone? Pick up to stop ringing, self-explanatory. Place the phone face down to silence any notifications and calls. I love that function. And approach for Moto Display, so that's pretty cool. There you go, and then you put your finger on it, you drag it up or down to access the notification that's there. So that's a really cool little function as well. Next one, Moto Display. Night display, your screen will automatically reduce the blue light which may impact your sleep, which I'm leaving on, and friendly notifications fade in and out while the screen is off, which is pretty cool, so they're like a breathing notification. Then we have Moto Voice, set up voice. Voice control, your phone using your voice, change or improve. So. Welcome to Moto Voice. Instant access to content on your device using show me commands. Personal and secure, discreet, reliable. Okay. This part is easy and takes around a minute. Just be sure, hold your phone away from your face. Speak normally and say the phrase we show you. Show me the weather. Show me my next meeting. Show me the calendar. Show me Chrome. Show me Facebook. Show me my day. Congratulations. Continue, and I've got it so it can do it on the lock screen. Makes my device a little bit less secure, but to be honest, it never really leaves my, my pocket. And the show me my screen will display for five seconds. Next, swipe left or right to dismiss the screen. Tap the screen to see more info. Long press to hold the screen for a long time. 
for a long time. Go to Modo. There we go. So that's all set up, and that's how you set up your Motorola device. So it's nice and simple. You've got that really basic stock Android with all this awesomeness on top of it. So I'm loving it. I think anyone who's loves that stock Android feel but doesn't want to fork out a thousand bucks for a uh, Pixel phone, your Motorola is your best shot, and probably your OnePlus 5 as well. But so far, loving the Moto X4, thinking it's one of the best devices I've uh, played with. It's you know it's probably a little bit expensive for the for the range that it comes in, but it's definitely a really top device. I mean, I just can't get over that display. Look at it; it's it's awesome, nice and shiny. A little bit of a funny face there for the camera, but you know what? It's a great device. It's easy to set up. It's Android, almost pure Android. Um, everything's nice and easy to use. I'm loving it. Get amongst it. Thanks for watching the video.